When you think of basketball legends, who comes to mind? Michael Jordan? LeBron James? Maybe even Kobe Bryant. But if you were to ask the students of Johnson High School, they would all give you the same answer. James, the plus minus Kang, Anderson. What about your childhood drove you to be so great? Oh, you know, in Green Meadows West, those streets are really tough. You know, these streets are really tough. <laughs> when you got a 6-7 Dom Tornavane. <laughs> when I get big, I'm going to remember my people. If it's from hooping or trapping, I guess we'll never know. And 5-8 Sam Tornavane, and any bitty little Derek Dodd ganging up on you back then in the day. I mean, the streets were already tough, and then you got all three of those goons trying to give you. So it made it tough. I mean, I, I had to be out there committed every single day to be my best self working out. You know, I'm in top-tier shape, as you guys can see now. But, I mean, it, it paid off for sure. How did James, the plus-minus king Anderson, become so great? Well, you know... Uh, I learned from my big old friend, Joshua Kennedy. He really strived to make me a better person every single day. I'd come to the gym at 5.30 in the morning, go to those liftings, and every time I would see Joshua Kennedy there. He was almost like a father figure to me, other than my dad, like a second father. And also, uh, Wags, oh, just a great guy as well. So that's really how, how I became great. What made James so great? There's so many different stories that I could tell you. Um, one, one that comes to mind is, uh, you know, before practice some days, uh, you know, all of us are kind of in line, you know, trying to dunk the ball, right? Um, just kind of, hey, you know, dunk the ball. And uh, with James, like a simple dunk wouldn't cut it, you know? Um, so what we would do is we would, we would stick an unsolved Rubik's Cube at the top of the backboard and, and we would, we would say, James, go up and go up and get it. He would go up, solve the Rubik's Cube, between the legs, dunk. Just unreal athleticism. You know, everyone thinks James is so great, but there's a dark side to James. Back in kindergarten, he used to bully me all the time. I remember we are on the playground, you know, we were, we were playing basketball a little, and he pushes me to the ground, and he goes, Stay down, I hate you all. How do you respond to accusations of you bullying kids back in the day? Well, there was a certain kid named Cooper Ricotter, and he was just such a nerd back in elementary. I mean, anybody that has a mustache in elementary school, they're just classified as a big old nerd, a mother freaking nerd. So I had to do what I had to do. And if that was punch him right in the gut, it's punch him right in the gut. So there's that. Yeah, so one day at practice, uh, I go up to Coach Frick and I'm like, man, I'm like, where's James? You know, uh, where's our best player? And he comes up to me and he said, James told me yesterday, he called me up and said, I need a vacation. And he's like, what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean he needs a vacation? He needs a vacation. I went to Mexico. I remember before our first game this season, we were getting ready for the jump ball, and James just goes, it's our ball. And I'm like, James, what are you talking about? We have to do the jump ball. And James goes, no, it's our ball. And the, the ref, Tyler, just gives him the ball, and we just start playing. Yeah, you know, James usually is a, he's a pretty positive guy, pretty confident, some would say cocky guy, but 
I remember one day he um, he came to practice. So he he was a little down. He he wasn't himself. Uh, I later found out that you know just tragic heartbreak had had hit him. Um, something that it didn't really take him out of his game. It more just fueled him to be better. You know, and and he talks to a lot of girls. He he. Um, but this one in particular was just different. Breaking up with James was the biggest mistake of my life. I wish I could have him back. Uh, James was one of those people who had the on and off switch, but he never freaking turned it off. Yeah, his chirps were just different. He made them personal. I mean, I remember one time uh, he chirped at Omaha and Omaha just started crying on the floor and James was just laughing at him. I'm like, holy shit, James, you just, you just can't do that. And James was just laughing his ass off. I just think he's annoying. I, 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 like, the dude just doesn't shut up about Minnesota sports. The Minnesota Golden Gophers are gonna win the college football playoff. We actually have a real shot. And uh, the Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards, uh, we're gonna win the NBA championship. Like, shut up, dude, no one cares.